What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Chef Chulo. Bum, ba, da, bum. Today, we're going to make apple pie. Uh, we are... I was looking at this recipe online. I looked at a couple of videos, and I was like, you know what? Let me try to remake this a little bit my way. Um, what we're going to do is the Granny Apple Smith's apples, the green apples. Rinse, ready to go. I'm gonna core them, slice them. We're gonna get this going. We're gonna use a two thirds cup of sugar. We're gonna go ahead and cook that down because uh, we're gonna make it into a nice sauce for the apples, for the filling, trust me. Then we're also gonna use one fourth tablespoon of nutmeg. We're using a half a teaspoon, a half a tablespoon, I'm sorry, of cinnamon. And we are using one tablespoon of cornstarch. We have one stick of unsalted butter, some lemon, because what we're going to do is we're going to scrape some of the zest off of the lemon into the filling, and then we're going to squeeze the lemon juice into the filling so it gives it a little, it'll balance out that sugar that's. Uh, well, I'm gonna shove my face with this pie. This is gonna be great, guys. We are gonna have a good time. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these up and I'll be right back so we can get started. All right, now that those apples have cooked for about 10 minutes, um, I was able to extract a lot of the juices off of the apples and look how that came out. You see how it's running? Yes, this is where 
we're cooking, we're gonna take out the apples, we're gonna strain it, we're gonna separate the juice, and then we're gonna mix that with um, the cornstarch to thicken it up. And then we're gonna put it all together. Watch. Don't mind my little contraption here that I'm using. I'm using a pasta strainer because I don't have those little fancy ones that they have all over the YouTube. <laughs> I'm getting my stuff a little by little getting there. So we're gonna go ahead and strain those apples. And oh man, I can tell you right now, this smells already delicious. Take that out, we're gonna put this back on the pan again. And we're gonna strain these apples, shake it off, and see how you have that extra juice on the bottom. Pardon me. A little loud while well, I'm separating this. We're gonna put these apple slices on the side. And look at this juice. This is what you want. So this is the butter. Mm, butter, sugar, nutmeg, cinnamon, um, the lemon juice. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and simmer that for a little bit more to reduce the water. Um, so when you see the vapors, that's the water obviously evaporating. Um, once we cook that down for a little bit, then we're going to add the starch to thicken it up. And then we're going to start setting up the pie crust. Look away! this cool off. We're going to put this in the fridge for a couple of minutes to let it cool off and then we're going to go ahead and start cutting up the crust. All right so we're getting ready for the crust of things. So I these are from ShopRite. Um, you can get whatever version you like. Uh, they will work perfectly well with that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and slice these Make them, make them into thin strips. Now I'm looking for my pizza cutter. Um, where's my pizza cutter? Pizza cutter. Here we go. Alright. We are going to slice these up into thin strips because we are going to put it in like a mesh. Like a you know what I'm talking about. I can knit it out. Oh, that was a little thin. All right. One thin thinker. Answer. Move that to the side, and then we're gonna go ahead and fill in our bottom portion of the tray. The filling. Actually, we gotta let it cool off just a couple more minutes. 
All right, now that this is basically uh, almost room temperature, I'm gonna go ahead and put the filling of the pie inside. Oh my God, this smells so good. We gotta make sure we get every nook and cranny of that sauce. There goes the oven, it's done. Preheating. We're gonna head and put, spread that apple. Oh my God, it smells so good. I tell you, who says you have to do this only for Thanksgiving? Uh, not today. Like my, my friend says, <laughs> she says, not I said the duck. <laughs> Make sure you follow her Instagram. It is simply Selena. She loves all stuff pink. She's always making stuff, refurbishing things, making it look pretty in pink. So make sure you follow her Instagram. All right, there you go. Now that that is on there, we're gonna go ahead and layer this. Just a second. I take this for 350 degrees for 45 minutes and then I raise the temperature to 400 degrees for 10 minutes and you see how it's bubbling, got that nice little crust around because it was wrapped around. We're going to let that cool for about an hour and then we're going to cut into it. Well, the pie is done and I cannot wait. This I'm gonna go ahead and take a taste out of this because I tried to wait. I, I can't wait anymore. I'm, I'm so anxious to try this out. This is my first apple pie, guys. Come on. Don't make fun of my spatula. I don't have like a little pie thing, but it's okay. Oh, do you hear that crisp from the pie? Oh my. MG. This is coming out. This is so good, guys. So, you see how the pie. So, usually when it gets a little cooler, obviously you'll be able to take it out, but we're gonna go ahead and taste this apple pie. Love, love. This is just pure 
the love, heaven, right. Look at this. You have to try this recipe out. This is the... <laughs> Once again, thank you so much for liking my channel. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification. Namaste. Stay safe, my friends.